Hello everybody, well today we are going to be taking apart a humidifier. Now then, I know it kind of sounds kind of strange, but it's got a UV bulb in it, so I'm going to be doing some stuff with that later on. Alright, so, this is our humidifier. That's the very first item you're going to need when taking apart a humidifier. Kind of an important one. Anyways, so, first step, take off the tank. Now then, I also have another one where you also can take the top off when this one broke. Eh. Anyways, but you might not have one like that. Some of them you have to slide off to the side, they're weird like that, but most of the time it's really easy to take off the top. Step two, you're going to need two specific tools. Chisel, mallet. Let us begin. Alright, I wasn't completely serious when I said you need the chisel and the mallet. But, you are going to need some tools. What you're going to need are just an assortment of Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. And that's pretty much all that I'm seeing right here on this. It's just a couple, couple, couple basic screws in different areas. So, hopefully this won't be too hard to take apart. Alright, so some real quick safety tips with taking apart one of these. Make sure your hands are completely soaked and that it is actually plugged in. Always have to make sure that it is plugged into an outlet so electrocution will be short and simple and extremely painful. Please don't do that. Don't, don't listen to me. Alright, make sure it is unplugged, your hands are dry, and you are on a non-conductive surface. We don't want you to die. Anyways, on with the video. Okay, so what we're going to do first is for this particular machine, we have a port where you can change the UV bulb. Now, this is held in by two screws. You can use either a Phillips or flathead on this, but I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver just because I find it a little bit easier to use and oh my goodness. <laughs> Oops. So, if you're planning on putting this back together after you've ripped it apart, then you probably want to put all the screws into an organized manner. But I'm not planning on putting this back together, so... Ooh, looks like we're going to have a little rogue wire to take care of. But, here is the UV bulb. That is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you... Oh, you can unscrew it directly. So, I'm not sure. It looks like you can just take this bulb and put it right into a regular light socket, although probably shouldn't try that. I don't want to try that right now, but... This is definitely going to be in a future video. Alright, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we are going to attack the four screws here, 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 and here on all sides and get the base plate off. Alright, so I just got all four screws off. Wait. <laughs> all seven. My bad. Seven screws off. And now we can take this bad boy off. Alright, so what do we have here? So it looks like we've got some wires going... Ooh, this actually looks fairly interesting. So it looks like the water would come down from the drip system into that little... I don't know if you guys can see this. The little black plug that's down in there goes into there from the drip system into here, the UV bulb would then heat up the water on the inside. Then it would go through this little tube here into this part. And this almost looks like an intake of some sort. Unless, well, looks like it just, hmm. I don't know, I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging in order to find this one out. So, um, 
All right, I guess on with the the unscrewing of stuff. Whoop de do. There we go. All right, now we can get this thing out. And hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? Ooh, looks like a motor of some sort. Actually, this is the fan. That's what this is. This is a fan. Now then, let's see if we can get all the guts of this thing out and laid out here on the table. So, I'm ripping out a new part here, and it looks to be like a... I don't know. I have no idea what this is. On with the ripping out of stuff, I guess. Unless, can we pull this plate off here? Ooh, yes, yes we can. Alright, so the last little bit that I need to pull off is this black box container thing up here, and then everything will be out. There we go. Alright, so this part is no longer needed. Yep. So, We've rip, ripped the guts out of this thing. So here's all that we've got so far. So we've got the fan, uh, un, a known box that I'm still going to open. I think it's like the, the brain of the thing. Um, and then we've got the switchboard here. Alright, so sorry for the uh, little thing there. My brother decided to walk in on me and... Yeah, so I'm definitely going to need to get a workshop or something. Whoops! Probably going to need to get a workshop out back or something, so... That, that, that'll that be fun to do. Alright, so... Let's see what's in this bad boy. Actually, hold on first. Let's see if we can't get this thing to turn on... ...with all the pieces strewn about. So it looks like in order for that to be on is that it's going down here. Is that why it didn't it turn on earlier? Actually a little bit nervous because I don't want the whole thing to blow up in my face. Whoa, dude. Alright, so that's the fan. UV light is on. And the front light is on, so we're gonna unplug it. So, in order. Is that hot? Feels warm. So, in order for this to turn on, this little switch needs to be toggled. So I will get a piece of plastic so I don't electrify myself during the process, and we will see what this looks like when it's on. Little Lego spear, and this is plastic. And so, for those who don't know, plastic is not very conductive electric of electricity. That's why plastics and rubbers are used to um, on wires on the outside because. It, you don't want to go touching these things when they're not covered up because it hurts pretty bad depending on what kind of voltage is running through it. And since this bad boy is hooked up directly to a outlet, probably going to put out a pretty powerful charge. So you don't want to touch this motor or any motor for that matter that's uncovered like this one right here. And you don't want to touch any exposed metal parts except for screws, but that still might be a little bit iffy. So don't touch any exposed metal parts if it is directly plugged in and you know, or and if you don't know if it's safe or not. Ooh, I'm shaking the camera. All right, so we're going to see what this bad boy looks like when it's turned on. 
just gonna, actually, you know what, I'm probably gonna get some silly putty to stick this in, I'll be right back again. Alright, so, now then, to get this bad, this show on the road, let's get this bad boy going. Alright, so, I'm gonna stick this here, I'm gonna toggle the switch, I'm gonna try to encase it so it don't move none, yep, and there we go. Nine, nine, nine. All right. Now then, does that toggle the switch? Occupied. All right. So, last little bit. I am trying to toggle the switch down here. And MacGyver this bad boy together. So I've. I don't know if you guys can see this, but with the switch down, there's a little switch right there. With that toggled, it allows the current to flow into the light, the UV light here, which then starts glowing, which then sets everything into motion. So we're just going to have this back here, the light by itself, and plug this sucker in. I have a feeling that it didn't get toggled. Um, so, just manually. <laughs> wow, okay, that's pretty cool. So, um, I'm gonna move out of the way here. So, I'm gonna toggle the switch and watch the light. That's pretty cool. So, the entire machine, the entire humidifier, it can, always, it can all be turned off by this kill switch right here. I'm just going to call it a kill switch. Because if this, this, this little plastic rod here is not connected to or pushing down on this toggle switch, nothing happens. Because it's plugged in right now and it's turned completely on. It's just, it won't turn on until the toggle has been activated. Anyway, so I'm going to stop right here and then maybe come back to this a little bit later. But, um, yeah, until further notice, uh, see you guys later.